Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Genshin Impact video. We're back with another event guide type explanation deal. So a new event dropped probably about like 20 minutes ago. And let's just jump into seeing what it's all about. The event is the Shadow of the Ancients. We saw this one in the 2.2 live stream, and now it's live. They posted on their Twitter. It's all here. Let's get into it. So as you can see on the front of the actual event, you can get a bunch of different rewards. Primos, Mystic or Enhancement, Mora, and then it seems here Guide to Freedom, Resistance, and Ballad, which are the monster talent level up materials, which is quite good. Prosperity, uh... Obviously, all the Inazuma ones, and then all the uh, Liyue ones as well. So you can get all the talent level up materials, which is A-OK. -okay. Love the rewards. Jumping into the event details, after you do a small little introduction quest where you have to go kill a bit of a uh, Ruin Grater. Forgot the name of the thing for a second there. But once you go do that, and you talk to Catherine a few times, and then Husini in uh, Rita Island, you get given a certain item in your bag, which we'll get into in a second here. And then you also get given this menu, which is the Investigate the Surveys. Now... Obviously, you can click on wherever these things are, and it'll tell you to go there, and you have to go use that item. <clears throat> that is the general gist of the whole event for now. Obviously, you can see here on the left side, we have three different phases, all coming out at three different times. This is coming out in two days. It says one day. It just means a day and 23 hours. And then this is coming out in four days, so pretty much a week's worth of events. And then down here, you have a small thing that you can unlock after you complete all the data sampling, which is uh, the second day of, or second uh, challenge stuff but that's for a later time. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the survey sites. We're gonna be going through all these. I'm gonna be showing you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, what I'm solving, how I'm solving, and all the good stuff showing you guys what's going on. So without further ado, let's go to Storm Terror's Lair and uh, do a bit of this survey thing and explaining how to use the new item. So the new item is called Aisha's Chaos Prospector. We knew about this from the event when they talked about it. And down here, if you want a bit more of a specific tutorial, or kind of like a, a game described tool. You can click here and it'll tell you exactly how to use it. You can place up to three a core at once. If you place the fourth, the survey uh, device will, uh, the first one will be replaced. And once you press it, it'll point you in the direction of the uh, thing that you need to interact with. So let's just get into a hands-on kind of demonstration of how to use it. So obviously this will pop up again once you get to the area. And on the map, it will mark out where exactly you have to be. So now if I place one down, it'll point in the direction that I need to go. So I'd go this way. And then I'd place one down. Because I've done archaeology in World of Warcraft before, I kind of know what I'm doing to an extent. And there you go. That's one already found. If you guys want, I don't know if it's going to be the same across every player's account. I don't know if it's going to be randomized. But if you see this uh, pyro flower here in the middle of the field, uh, it's right next to it. And you get an exquisite chest with some heroes wit in it. And then that's not the end of it, it seems. Okay. So that's very interesting. I did not know that was going to happen. I thought that you just find the component and that'd be it. But it seems that you can just find a bunch of chests just scattered around. And then you're just going to continue along placing them. Kind of trying to figure out exactly where you need to go. It's obviously pointing me in this direction a bit more. Must be it right here then. Yep, there it is. There's another one. This is a bunch of enemies this time. Okay, very interesting. So we have a bunch of enemies, no loot from that one. So it might even be that everyone has to go through finding a chest, enemies, and then the item. So that might be the case. But placing down another prospect that's going to point me in this direction over here, which is a bit more towards the path. Place one here, puts me here. Getting combat because that's always fun. And then we can't use the item. Okay, and after expertly killing some enemies, you then have to place the prospector down again, obviously trying to funnel it down. It should be right in between these two here, and there it is. And is this, this is a... What? So we can't activate that now, apparently. I'm kind of confused here as well. But we're going to continue onwards, going this direction, looking for another kind of prospected artifact thing. Place it around here. Points me back in this direction. It must be in this corner here. Or it must just be kind of right here. Up oh, there it is. And then once we pick this up, we get the general purpose directional conduction component, which is the component that we needed in uh, Storm Terror's Lair. So that is that part done. We can now go back up to the event, look at the event details, and the first one is done. Now, we're just going to move on doing this for you, Yuang, Guang, Shoal, Xing, Shu, Pool, and Tadrasuna. So let's just jump over and do all those. Okay, so now after arriving at the uh, Yuang, Guang, Shoal, I can't remember exactly the name. 
I do recommend you kill all the healy chills that are here because they will stop you from being able to place the things. And after you've killed all of them, we'll just start from the very center of the arena, just kind of going along, placing these very slowly but carefully because you don't want to go too far, as I've seen, because they have a radius. And I assume it's going to be right here next to this tree. Is it? Can't deploy here. Okay, that was... Oh, here it is. It's pretty much right next to the tree. We pick it up and that's a chest. And that's pretty cool. We get some hero's wit on top of that. And then we start placing more moving kind of towards this middle area. I have noticed that the cone uh, can kind of point in the general direction, not in the exact direction. But it's kind of... This next one is in the middle of this kind of a uh, little arena looking thing where there's targets. You pick that up and there's this thing you cannot activate this right now look for it when the time is right i believe that might be with the um the next part of the event i do believe that might be with the next challenges so come back to these kind of remember their locations come back to them in the future of the event i'll cover that in a different video most likely but placing more of these uh prospectors down we're going to move down into the, next to the beachish area or not we're going to move up into the kind of this area placing another one just here and we don't tell me it's right in between them right here. Don't do not do it. Don't do it to me. It was. It was right in between them. It's right here in this open area. You'll find a uh, Ruin Guard. It's quite the big enemy. But nothing we can't handle. Pretty easy. Standard stuff. Hit him with every button I have. Kill him real quick and then move on. Placing another Prospector trying to find the last item. Which is uh, potentially right here. Boom. No, it's not. Uh, it's pointing me over here a bit more. Potentially right here. Nope, even more over here in the uh, kind of south direction. Place it right here. And it's in between these two gates right here. Pretty good location, actually. We got to pick this up, and that is the general purpose directional conduction component found. That is the Yuang Shoal done. Let's move on to the next one. Now, when you get to the Xingshu Pool, which is kind of in the southwest of uh, Liyue, just kill a few of these treasure hoarders here so they don't impede you during the actual searching process. There's only two of them right there. Maybe one around the corner, but we'll just start the uh, prospecting right now by just starting it at the start of the uh, whole zone. And it's going to point us... Well, we just spawned right on top of it. So this is where you find the chest. I didn't really get to do any directions here, but it's pretty much at the start of the path right there. You'll pick that up, or rather, it's not even the chest. So you can find them in random orders, I guess. This is the turret thing. Placing another prospector down, it's going to move us in this direction towards the uh, big body of water. We're going to place another one right here. It takes us to the left slightly, possibly by this rock right here. And if we use it, it's right on the border, right here next to the big body of water. We'll find another ruin grater. Obviously, expertly dealing with this guy, doing massive damage with Yan Fei, taking him out, no sweat. Placing another Prospector right here next to the water, it's going to take us along the shoreline, maybe slightly up this cliff, we're going to place one right here on this rock. It takes us back slightly, so it must be right here, uh, next to this kind of rock formation. Cannot deploy here. Can we deploy here though? Yes, we can. And it's pre pretty much in between these two rocks, you'll find the exquisite chest, with two heroes wit inside. And placing the final prospector to try to find the actual uh, construct conundrum or whatever it's called. It's got a long ass name. We're going to go over here across the little water area. And it's obviously pretty much on this side. We're going to place a prospector right next to this tree. And it's not quite next to the tree. Must be in this little open area that I missed. Place it right here. And there it is. There's the final piece of uh, the Xingxu pool. Onto the Tadrasuna though. And when you get to the Tadrasuna, there's going to be a handful of enemies that I do recommend you deal with again just to make the whole prospecting process a bit easier. And when I say there's going to be a few enemies, there's literally going to be every Hilly Chill type in the goddamn continent. Okay, and after you kill pretty much every Hilly Chill on the goddamn continent, you can now start prospecting. We're going to start right here in the uh, kind of northern side of the zone on the map, and it's telling us to go towards this tree. We're going to use it right next to the tree, it tells us to go a bit more towards this cave area. Use it right here next to this broken down stump. Tells, tells us to go even further into the cave. Use it right on the edge of the cave. It tells us to go back because we've went out of zone. God, this is a... Where, where is this one? This one's... Oh it's, oh, it's right here. Right here on the... In between these two little stumps, you'll find the exquisite chest. Placing another prospector down. It'll tell us to go a bit more towards the beach, which is uh, A-OK -okay for me. Then tells us to backtrack to the northern side. Use the prospector here, and it's right next to this uh, little uh, cooking campsite and a torch. A few barrels. 
right here in the open, you'll summon a bunch of Helichell enemies, which is uh, no problem for anyone with uh, any amount of characters built. Deal with them exquisitely and expertly like that. And then you can place another Prospector telling us to go a bit more south towards the body of water. We're not going to try to trigger those enemies there. Just following the shoreline really quickly. Looking for what's next. We went a bit too far here, so it must be right between this little tree and the shoreline. Or it might just be right here where this other one missed. Yep, and it's right here next to this uh, little tree. A bit of a shoreline here. Pick that one up, and that is the uh, marker for the next challenge, I believe. And then we're going to place the last prospector, telling us to go a bit more towards this shoreline over here, which might be even just across the body of water. No, not quite. Tells us to go right here, and it's right next to the tree again. That's this thing next to. So we pick that up, and that's going to be the last general purpose directional con conduction component. That's quite the tongue twister. That is the last one for the Tadrasuna, and that is pretty much the last part of this first event. You can claim all your rewards. Obviously, you'll get a bunch of Primos, a total of, what is that, 160 Primo Gems from this first part. And that has been the first part and a bit of an explanation of the whole Shadow of the Ancients event. Stay tuned for data sampling, which comes about two days. So what day is it today? It is Friday. So on Sunday, we'll be getting the data sampling and then live testing will be on Tuesday, I believe. So stay tuned for that, obviously giving you guides on all of them. The event will get a lot harder as we go along. This has just been investigating surveys. I feel like data sampling will be killing enemies and then live testing will be fighting the actual Colossus or the ancient, whatever the thing is on Tadras, not Tadrasuna. Tsurumi Island, they've all got confusing names, but live testing will be the last event where we fight the actual ruin greater and try to kill him multiple multiple times getting different scores and whatnot and i believe something like that but i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button subscribe and also ring the bell to stay notified of when i upload comment down below if you're enjoying shadow of the ancients or if you think it's going to be a good or bad event i think it's going to be all right nothing too amazing but also nothing too bad anyway have an amazing day star hydrated and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace out